Welcome to this short video. Recently I was getting some tulips on my way home. Next to the wooded area I found a memorial, a war memorial. It is near the place where on July the 19th the crew of US Air Force B-24 Liberator Bomber Yellow G of the 485th Bomb Group was shot down near my small home community of Vaterstetten. Of the 10 Americans on that plane, five died in the attempted emergency landing. The remaining were taken prisoner and they survived the war. The last of the four, Sar Staff Sergeant Al O'Brien, passed away in 2007, two years before the memorial was put up. The local historical society researched all that and interviewed eyewitnesses and the artist couple Heike Rose and Bernd Schmidt Pfeil created this memorial. They even got the signatures of all its crew members and reproduced them on it. It may wonder some that there's a memorial for the then enemy somewhere in Germany, but in my opinion it gives faces to the horror of war. That these guy who flew a plane that dropped explosives on other humans are still forgotten. It acknowledges that the horror that they may have felt when their plane was hit by heavy flak fire at 11.38 and the two minutes that the pilots fought over the doomed plane till it impacted in the woods of the then hostile country. Many parts of that crashed plane are still found in this area. The LRG was shot down during a bombing run over Munich. Munich was then the target of many bombing raids during World War II. And while researching news about this memorial, what other media wrote about it, unfortunately, most media, like Stars and Stripes or the Monroe Evening Paper, or even some German news, most German newspapers, I found, omitted the last passage on this memorial. The devastating air attacks on Munich brought unimaginable suffering to, suffering to the civilian population and in the area of Munich alone approximately 6,000 people were killed. I wonder why. <laughs> 